Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Amy and today we're gonna make a really simple tomato soup using just a few ingredients because when I make a recipe, I like it to be super, super simple. So to get started, we're gonna take an onion and we're just going to rough chop it. It doesn't have to be too fine because we are going to puree everything that's in the soup once it cooks. So I'm basically just gonna slice some half rings and then just cut that in half. Okay, so I have a pan over here and to the pan, it's over medium heat. We're gonna add some olive oil, about two tablespoons. To that, we are also going to add about two tablespoons of butter. We'll let that get melting right now while we're chopping up our vegetables. All right. So we need the onion. And then we're also gonna do about three cloves of garlic. And you just wanna smash these. To get the skins off. All right, so I just like to cut the ends off of these. And again, just Take them and smash them up with your knife like that, and then just give them a rough chop. All right, so let's put that garlic aside over here because we don't want to add that too soon. And now we're going to take two leaves of basil. And you don't want a whole lot of basil, you just want a little bit. We're just trying to impart some flavor. So I'm just gonna, again, give this a really rough chop. Just put it over here with the garlic because we're gonna add that at the same time. All right, let's turn this down just a little bit. That's a little bit too high. And then we're gonna take our onion and add it to the oil and butter mixture that we have going here. So we want to saute this over medium heat for probably about eight to 10 minutes. You wanna get this nice and soft. So we'll just let that simmer and I'll come back whenever that has become nice and translucent and then at that point we're going to add our garlic and our basil and some of our seasonings. Okay so the onions have had a chance to get nice and soft. It's been about eight minutes. So now we're going to add the garlic and the basil. And we don't want to cook this for too long. Sorry, this garlic's really sticky. Because you don't wanna burn the garlic. You just wanna kinda of help bring out the flavors. Now, to this, we're gonna add a few seasonings at this point. One of them is kind of unexpected, but we're going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that just gives it some little extra flavor that you, you don't really know it's there, you don't know what it is, but it's, it's something, something different. 
then I'm gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes and a whole teaspoon of salt. You may have to add more salt later, but um, I found that one teaspoon was really good. Mm, it smells so delicious. And those two little basil leaves are really all you need. You don't need much more than that, at least for the base. I'll, I'll put some on when I serve it on the top. Okay, so just move these. They're not in the way. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's put a little bit of black pepper in there. Okay, so so far all we have is onions, garlic, basil, cinnamon, a little red pepper, and some salt. All right, so that looks really good. Now to this, I'm gonna add two cups of chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock, um, any kind of stock. You don't wanna use just plain water because that won't give it enough flavor. So I've just added that chicken stock, which cooled the temperature down. So we're gonna to have to bring this back up to temperature. And at this point, we're going to add, this is um, a 28 ounce can of San Marzano uh, tomatoes that are peeled. They're whole and they're peeled. I like to use peeled tomatoes when I'm doing tomato soup and just be very careful about pouring this in because it does splash. Okay, so let's stir all this together. And I have two more ingredients that you probably aren't expecting. Um, a lot of times people will use flour and that's what they'll use to thicken up their soup. Um, they'll make a roux whenever you're sauteing your vegetables, which you can do here, but um, what I have found, which is easier, and if you're on a gluten-free diet, um, if you can eat white rice, is to take two teaspoons, I mean, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of uncooked white rice and add it in right now. And that will thicken up the tomato soup once we go and blend it later. So that white rice will cook with this and the starches will release and that's what will help thicken the soup. So that's a good option if you don't want to use flour or cornstarch to thicken. Okay, so we're gonna let this come up to a simmer and then we're gonna let this simmer for about 25 minutes. It really doesn't take much longer than that. And then once that um, has had a chance to develop some flavor, reduce down just a little bit. We'll come back through and we'll break up the tomatoes using our, um, our spoon. And then once it's ready, we're going to blend it all up and it'll be ready to serve. Mm, that's nice and bubbly. So it's been about 10 minutes and what you want to do is you want to come back and kind of use your spoon to break up the whole tomatoes. Give it a stir and just let it continue to cook. smells amazing. So I forgot to tell you at the beginning of this video that um, not only is this video for tomato soup, but I made a fresh loaf of sourdough bread and we're going to make some sourdough grilled cheese sandwiches to go along with our tomato soup today. All right, this has been simmering for about 25 minutes. 
So let's take this top off and give it a stir. At this time, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you there was a couple of ingredients that were gonna be kind of surprising. One was the cinnamon, but the second one is baking soda. So a lot of tomato soup will have two of an acidic uh, taste flavor to it, and a lot of people add sugar, but if you add just a tiny bit of baking soda, it will cut that acidity really, really nicely, and then you don't have to add the extra sugar. So watch what happens when you add this. It'll start bubbling and fizzing. And then you just stir it through. You see all the bubbles that are coming to the top? So we're just gonna stir it around. And at this point, uh, you can either use a blender to blend this up. I'm gonna use my stick, my immersion blender, the handheld blender. And that's really all there's left to do. We're gonna blend it up, we'll give it a taste test, see if we need to add any more seasonings, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and blend this up. And make sure when you're using a, um, an immersion blender that once you put it into the liquid, don't lift it out while it's still going or it'll go everywhere. Sometimes I feel like I have to go on top of each one of the chunks and kind of blend it a little bit. And then come back and, and blend the whole thing. Especially if you're us using a shallow pan like I am. Sometimes you can even tip the pot a little bit if you feel like you need to. But this process can take a few minutes sometimes. You, like I said, you can put this in your blender. It'd probably be a little bit faster, but I'm just trying not to get too many dishes dirty so I don't have to wash that much stuff. All right, so that looks really nice and creamy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cover over this. Well, actually, you know what? Forgot we need to taste it. And see if it's how we like it. All right, I'm going to set this down here too. All right, let's see how it tastes. It's really hot. So good. I can really taste the tomatoes. And it's creamy. The, the rice is what's giving it that creamy consistency from the starches in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here and then I'm going to show you how I make really, really good grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, you guys. So what's tomato soup without a really ultimate deluxe grilled cheese sandwich. 
Well, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking sourdough is probably one of the best ways to make a grilled cheese sandwich. So I just baked this loaf this morning and what we want to do is I've got um, a couple of tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of my homemade mayonnaise. And this is what we're going to use to put on the outside of the bread. Now I've got a cast iron skillet heating up over medium heat. You don't want the heat to be too high. I'm actually turning it down to about medium low because we want this to cook kind of low and slow. Once we put the bread down onto the skillet, we're gonna cook it for probably about, let's say four to five minutes on each side. All right, so let's turn that over. And the cheeses that I am using uh, it's a Mar American cheese. Now this is the one that you get at the deli. It's not the, the fake cheese. I've got some white cheddar that I've shredded. And I've also got some Swiss, which is a Gruyere. So just put as much cheese as you like on your sandwich. Let me put a little bit more. But having different kinds of cheeses will give you a a really nice flavor profile. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top on and get this other side spread with this mixture. Okay, and let me get my spatula. All right. So let's get this in the pot. Okay, once you put this down into the skillet, you're gonna take a lid or something that you can use to press down. And then just leave it on there, kind of like a weight. And just let it rest. Put your timer on for about four minutes. Make sure that your heat is on low to medium low so it doesn't burn. And then once it's ready, we'll flip it over. All right, you guys, this should be ready to flip. So let me just take a quick peek at the underside and see if it's brown enough. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing with this side, but for this time we're gonna give it a, bit, a little bit more of a press. And then we will let that cook for another four to five minutes until it's done. And then we'll be ready to serve everything up. Okay, so while that grilled cheese is finishing up, we are going to go ahead and plate everything. Mm. This soup smells so good. See the color of it, it looks so creamy. And you can smell just that little hint of cinnamon in there. It is, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna garnish that with a little cracked pepper. And just a few little basil leaves. And then this grilled cheese, let's take a look at it real quick. So has a few more for my minutes. All right, you guys, it's the moment of truth. Let's, let's see if this is ready to go. Oh, all right. This looks pretty darn good, you guys. 
get a cut. And I think what I want to do with this is because, you know, we're going to eat it with the soup. I think I'm going to cut it into like cheese, grilled cheese sticks almost. So let's cut it in half and just see what this looks like. Mm. Oh, I don't know if you can see those two different cheeses. They're all gooey and melted. All right, so let's go ahead and just try them. Oh. Mmm. You can see that cheese just coming right out of there. purple because it's probably really hot. Mm. Mm. All right, you guys, you have to try this tomato soup. It is just way too easy. It's simple. It's rich and creamy. Mm. This is delicious. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel because I love creating real simple recipes that I can share with you that you can make for your family. So until next time, bye-bye.